Hey there! Deploying your application is an important part of application development. You want to get rapid feedback from the work that you're doing in a production-like environment. This might also be a part of your CI-CD pipeline. So if you have an application using Docker Compose on Amazon EC2, you can get this done with Amazon Code Deploy. So let's try this out. So here is what we need to do. We need to create permission roles, one for the EC2 instance and one for Code Deploy. We need to create an EC2 instance with the Code Deploy agent. We need to tuck your instance so it can be targeted by Code Deploy. We need to create a deployment script using upspec.yams. We need to create the S3 bucket and upload your deployment script there. We need to create a Code Deploy application, deployment group and deployment. So this of course can all be automated with CloudFormation, but I'm going to do that in a follow-up video. So let's get started with this. Let's create a permission role for the EC2 instance. So we select here EC2. S3 read only. EC2 service role. Create. Let's create a permission role for code deploy. So create. We select here cloud deploy and EC2 next we are okay with this and we select the name guest code deploy role looks good create role we need one additional policy attach policy code deploy role Next, we need at least one EC2 instance. So this is a script that we're going to put in user data. So this is going to help us to start the EC2 instance with the software required to start the application. So first, it's going to install Docker. Then it's going to install Docker Compose. And then it's going to install the code deploy agent. Don't worry, I will put this into the description. Let's launch a new instance. Let's call it guess. Linux should be fine t2 micro key pair that you have or create a new one we're gonna allow ssh and http traffic to this simple application advanced settings we're gonna select the ami role so guess ec2 service role this allows the instance to talk to s3 buckets let's scroll down and here we have the user data so let's paste in the configuration And let's launch the instance. Now we just wait until it's ready and running. Let's verify everything is looking good with our instance. So let's connect to it with SSH. Docker PS. Compose. And this tag checks the code deploy agent status. Okay, everything looks good. We should be able to run our application in this instance. We can configure code deploy to deploy two instances with a certain tag. So let's tag our instance. So let's call here uh, environment and let's call it guess dev. Code deploy will require instructions on how to deploy your application. You have to have one file called appspec.yaml and here is one of these files. So this one is really simple. It has two files that it's including. It's co copying a Docker Compose file and an Nginx file and copying to the home directory of the user. Then after that's copied, it's gonna call the install script and the install script is gonna do nothing but stop docker compose remove everything from it pull the new images and run everything together so this is just a simple docker compose file this could be any of your docker compose files and just an nginx configuration so we need to save this and upload this to s3 bucket let's save this let's go to s3 Let's create a new bucket. Let's call it guest bucket. Let's keep all the defaults. 
let's upload to the bucket and now s3 is ready with our deployment let's go to code deploy applications create application yes application easy to create application create deployment group yes deployment group service role the role that we created in place Amazon easy to instances we'll pick your environment yes there so one instance matching seems good we have already installed the agent we don't need load balancing let's create a deployment group let's create a deployment let's find the path in s3 copy s3 or od Let's create the deployment. The deployment is in progress, so let's wait now and see what happens. It looks like our deployment was successful. So let's try to open up the instance and see if it's actually working. So let's find our instance. And let's find the public IP, IP address for it. And since this is just a naive HTTP application, we write HTTP and the IP address. And let's hope it's gonna work! Yes! We have an application! We can do stuff! Great success! Well, that's it. I hope you liked it. It was very manual. And if you're gonna do this again, then it's pretty hard going through all these steps. So you would of course want to automate this with something like CloudFormation. In a follow-up video, I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna create a deployment from GitHub. So whenever you merge to GitHub, you're gonna call Cloud Deploy and deploy. So please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you.